Let's go to Brian Reed. He was one of the first reporters on the scene. Brian, you've been doing a fantastic job giving us kind of the pulse of the neighborhood there, the things that people have heard and felt and seen with their own eyes. Uh, what, what are you hearing now? Well, right now I'm actually with Senator Jay Costa, who is actually and was a part of this neighborhood once upon a time ago, living on the other side of the bridge. Now, you were just telling me about your uh, personal experience driving up and down this. So, you know, what is it like for you to be able to see this bridge down and out? Oh, it's, it's stunning to me. And we're very fortunate that no one was seriously injured. That's probably, but for the grace of God, this could have been a pretty nasty uh, experience here. So we're fortunate. You know, it's surprising. It's, you know, the number of bridges here in, in um, in Pittsburgh and Allegheny County that need repairs. This was really not one of them on the list, quite frankly, like the Commercial Street Bridge, for example. So we um, were surprised that it happened, but you know the response of the emergency responders has been outstanding and being able to, to reach down and get the folks repelled down the hillside and everyone has been relatively safe and secure and uh, that's the most important thing right now. Now we go into the rebuild phase, working, you know, been speaking with PennDOT quite a bit. I spoke with the Secretary of Transportation earlier today. They pledged their support. The district engineers pledged her support as well uh, to be able to help manage what needs to take place here. So they're here uh, as well. So, you know, we had a similar incident on Route 30 a while back when we had the landslide. Uh, folks working together, local government officials and state, providing resources, providing support and all that. Uh, that's going to make a major difference getting this up and running again. Okay. So, you know, there's there's a phrase, you know, better late than never. However, for this bridge, it was a, a little too late. So yeah. does that mean now that uh, things are going to be um, uh, sped up in terms of bridge maintenance uh, when it when it comes to um, the, the city? Yep. Well, fortunately, we have infrastructure resources coming from the federal government, which I think is going to be important to allow us to continue to do the bridge assessments. You know, one of the things I learned is we're trying to get the cranes in the like here for this site. Um, some of the streets have weight restrictions don't, that don't permit the trucks to come through. So it's delaying the, the re folks arising here along those lines. But at the end of the day, we got to go back and do more, more assessments. And I think this will prompt us to be able to do that. There was an inspection that was done in September. I've not seen firsthand an inspection report, so we'll see what that had told us. But I do think that you're going to likely see, it, I would imagine, in the city of Pittsburgh, an effort to try to do additional assessments on all the bridges around the area to prevent things like this from happening again. Do you think that this is something that you'll go back to the state capitol to and, and just say, hey, this is why we need more funding and start fighting for more repairs and, and yeah. road maintenance and things of that nature? Oh, there's no question. This is something that we've been talking about for quite a while. The federal government has done it, but we also have a straight state revenue transportation revenues issue here in Pennsylvania that we have to address as well. Uh, we have a shortfall in resources now coming from the turnpike to Pendon and from Mass Transit. So we have a major transportation conversation for the sustainable uh, transportation things along those lines that we need to address in Harrisburg. We've had our head in the sand for a number of years now since we did Act 89 a number of years ago. Uh, we did about two and a half billion dollars but the need was like six billion dollars and that need has grown. The federal government's going to come in and help us with some things but it's not enough to be able to sustain what we need to do not just in Pittsburgh and Allegheny County but across the whole Commonwealth. So we have work to do in that space. Okay. Senator Costa, thank you very much. Thank you. Appreciate, appreciate the chance to talk to you. Thank you.